President Trump becomes former President Trump Wednesday at noon Eastern time. But just because he's out of the White House doesn't mean taxpayers are no longer picking up some of his bills. Our Joe St. George in Washington explains which bills are still being paid. President Donald Trump is departing Washington, D.C. prior to the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden. He will not be in attendance. And while Air Force One is off limits past Wednesday morning, American taxpayers will be paying President Donald Trump's bills, well, for the rest of his life, at least for now. Here are some lifetime perks of being a former president. According to the former President's Act, he'll get a yearly salary of around $219,000 a year. Former presidents get raises to match what current cabinet secretaries are paid. Lifetime Secret Service protection is valued at $1 million a year. And for the first 30 months, $150,000 a year will be given to employ staffers, $96,000 a year after that. Taxpayers are also responsible for paying office space, which averages around $500,000 annually. Former presidents also have access to taxpayer funded mail privileges as well, which means he won't have to pay for postage if he wants to write a letter. Of course, all of this could change depending upon the outcome of the Senate impeachment trial set to get underway soon. If the Senate votes to convict, it's possible they could suspend those benefits as well. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.